Hi, I'm Gabi Neuro and welcome to session 18 with Jedi. <laughs> Today we are going on a walk in the forest and I'm gonna take you with, him, with us and show you how to deal with I know if he stops or he gets a little scared of something and how to see thresholds and how you can be really creative on those walks with your youngster. You see I still have a stick with me <laughs> and uh, but it's a, sh a shorter stick that I'm more handy out in the forest. Uh, still with young horses I always take a stick with me when I'm going on walks uh, simply for the reason that I can communicate more clearly uh, and also if they have a spook and, try and jump in my direction that I'm able to effectively defend my space. But I don't take my long uh, usual ground dog stick because I'm a bit clumsy with that <laughs> but a shorter stick. If you do not have such a short stick you can also take like for example a, a jumping crop. These are nice and long, uh, nice and short and stiff or you just take a hazel branch for example or a bamboo stick. It should be stiff don't take a dressage stick because it's way too soft. It's gonna, well, you're not gonna be able to pre be precise. And if you have to tap your horse, it's really going to bite and be painful. Okay, Jedi, let's go. All right. So when I'm taking a youngs on the walk, yo, <laughs> I'm not on an agenda. It's not about doing a. Uh, x kilometers or this exact route in a set amount of time. Good boy! I have more an attitude of let's, let's explore the world together. Yeah, like here he's curious on the chickens back there. I know you can't see them. Yes, I allow him to look. I'm not going to allow him to graze. Yeah, yes, I allow him to explore. And I'm all the time very attentive to where does he look. Good. And as he is quite introvert, it can be hard to see. Okay, he looked over there. Yeah, I'm following him. And I used to touch it. Yeah. To help him get confident along the way. Not grazing. And I can also choose some objects. And you see, I don't go straight line on my path towards the forest. I go here and there and we explore and we check things out. Not grazing. Good boy. Yes. Just imagine how would a horse explore this here? A horse would not go straight line down into the forest. It would go here and there and sniff here and look there. and Try to imitate that. These first few walks with a youngster they're quite important as, uh, well, you're really building confidence. And you're building trust to leave the home territory, kind of. Good boy, yes. Huh? That's really more about exploring the world than about walking <laughs> a certain round or path. Yes, good boy. And you can see in between, I can, by the way, practice all those little basic tasks. Uh -huh. Go over there, yield the shoulders. Good boy, yes. And of course, when he sniffs all those machines, I have to be very cautious about that he doesn't get stuck with his halter lead up anywhere. Could keep him safe on his exploring. Now we're not grazing now. Good boy, not grazing now. Okay. Uh -huh. Good boy. There's one more thing. Check that out. Yeah. Huh? You want to continue? Okay. There's a big concrete slab. Some horses are uh, very cautious about different surfaces. Well, not him. Well, he saw the wet spot, so let him explore here. I'm Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now we go in the forest. So he looks to the right, and there's a trunk. So, whoop. Yeah. So whenever I see he looks somewhere, 
even if he wants to keep walking, I stop to make sure he processes his threshold. Some horses, they will look at something, but they keep walking. They don't, <laughs> you kind of have to help them to digest it. Good boy, huh? Yeah. Huh? Is the tree trunk yummy? <laughs> okay, go. Let's go. There's a little ditch. I can take advantage of that one. <laughs> huh? You wanna come? Yes, good boy. <laughs> and here is another little ditch, even with water in. Yeah, I just let him look here. I have no expectations. Yeah, I just want to show him stuff. Yeah. Good boy, yeah. I don't even think about jumping over there. Just want him to look and explore. Huh? Good guy. Yeah. Good boy. And then I use the. Uh, well, I'm going to jump over myself and just see what happens. <laughs> Maybe he'll do the same. Maybe he'll follow. Maybe not. If not, no big deal. Just go back. So here now I have to pay attention. He doesn't jump on me. Good boy! So I make sure I really stand way to the side. Not here in the middle. I don't want to get squashed. He is so brave, huh? Yes, he is so brave. Huh? He is so good. So, uh, for example, with Maserati, who is a lot less confident, the first time I came here, he did not jump over. It's not a big deal. It's just about showing, not about actually achieving things. Just about having experiences together. A Jedi? Yes! <laughs> Good guy! He is so brave. Such a cool guy. Huh? Yeah. Up. Yes! <laughs> he thinks he likes it jumping. <laughs> Okay, let's continue, Jedi. I also really like to go off-road with young sisters so that they learn to lift their feet. Up. Yeah, I can practice pushing the front end, passing between trees. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Come around like this. They learn to really pay attention, <laughs> not just on their feet. But also, where am I going? Yeah. Yep. Good boy. Eh, don't nip. <laughs> Good guy. Uh -huh. Can also send him through here. Yep. Let him go. Turn around. Yep. Come through again. Up. Yeah, eating trees, huh? Good boy. <laughs> he gets all playful out here. It's good. Come to die. Send through here. Up. Good. Let the rope turn him. He learns to follow the feel here. Come through again. Good boy. Yes. Not Jedi. Okay, let's continue. Let's look for the next opportunity to be creative. Now there's a little slope. And I'm always thinking about what kind of good habits do you need later when riding. And I would like my horses to go downhill nice and slow and careful. So I ask them to go down here, slowly step by step, not lose balance, <laughs> and start running. I ask them back up even. Yeah. This is a nice little way, you know, to improve your youngsters' body awareness and coordination. Good boy. Yes. And you give your backing up a little bit of purpose. Slow. Good. A yeah. little more. Uh -uh. Stop. Back up. Yeah. 
back up. Good boy, yes. Huh? Good guy. Huh? Come on down. Slowly. Oh, good. Good boy, yes, yeah. Slowly, come. Oh, good. Okay, good. Let's continue. Here's our next adventure. A little mini ditch. Slowly. Yes, good boy. Come. And then we continue up here. Slowly. Good boy. Uh -uh. Slowly. Look where you go. Good boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. I ask him to stop here. It's a pretty deep slope. Pretty steep slope. I'm gonna go down first. Ask him to wait. Gonna make sure I'm safely on this side. I'm gonna repeat that because I want him to learn to wait and go slow. Yep. Yep. Up. Oh, Jedi. Back. Good. Yay, you find ditches too far, huh? But still, you need to wait, Jedi. So you just saw why it is so important to always make sure you stand clearly on the side, not right in front of your horse. Horses will most of the time try to jump on the same spot where you're standing because for the horse this means that this is a safe place to land. So I stand really close to the tree here. Have my stick and um, please stay over there. Good boy. And disengage. Good boy. Yes. So, and especially for uh, situations like this, you could see to have a stick is really helpful because it can communicate better to the horse. Well, <laughs> to not jump on me and to keep a little distance. Not Jedi. Let's go and look for the next adventure. Come. Come. There's some water to look at. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, we have a quite big... Uh, ditch filled with water here. I have no intention whatsoever that he goes in here <laughs> because it's too slippery. Just look at it. Look at it and be confident. Yes. Huh? You have no pressure at all. Just kind of be curious. Check it out. And I have, can have him go around here. Oop. Oop. Look at it from the other side. Should I? Yeah. Yes. I can pretend I'm curious about it. Yeah, should I, huh? It's just about giving the horse experiences. Uh -huh. Horses also learn by imitation. Young horses will always imitate older horses. And this also works to a certain extent. Uh, uh, with humans. If we do something, <laughs> they can at one point, they will start to imitate as well. Huh? Yeah, good. Uh -huh. Go around, you see I stay between the water and him. If you would try to have him pass between the water and me, well, <laughs> he will not like that. He will try to avoid it and really start to push on me. Yeah. Yes. Good boy. Huh? Don't push on me. And this is of course also a really good preparation for future water crossing. That he learns 
to stay straight. Good boy. Just like with the trailer. Stay straight. Don't push with the shoulder. Yeah. Exploring behavior. It's imitating what I do with the stick here. <laughs> Good boy. Huh? No. Stay straight. Same rule like with the trailer. No matter if it's water crossing, the trailer, the shower, even jumping, the rule is stay straight. Now what did you find here, Jedi? Forward and backwards is okay. Left and right is not okay. Yeah? Good boy. Just want him to try and think about it. Good guy. Huh? Okay, here he does. Okay, send him around. And look at it and one more time from the other side. Yep. Try. Yes, good boy. Straight. Yes, there. Good guy. Good guy. Just look at it. And back off. Yeah, a bit back up. Come. And we continue to the next adventure. Jedi. Oopa! <laughs> I gotta learn to look at my feet as well. Uh, here we have a nice straight line. It seems a bit boring at first, but you can practice if you can follow the chat. Okay. Stop back up. Yeah, don't push. And <laughs> you can play little games like that. Always find ways, how can I apply what he learned in the arena at home. It's kind of in the arena, he learns to try skills, uh, the homework. <laughs> and out here in the forest, you're going to apply everything in a creative way. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have a ditch here. <laughs> Let's see if he's brave enough for that one. <laughs> I ask him to wait. Go over first. Because my rope is not long enough that it would send him over. Look. Wait. Wait, Jedi. Good. I go to the side that I'm safe. Let's see if he can follow. Yeah, good Jedi. If he does, say good boy. I encourage every step of the way. Good guy. Yes. <laughs> good guy. Huh? You're so good. He is so brave, huh? That's way better than Arena. <laughs> so, um, he is a very confident and introverted guy, and you saw in the last sessions in the Arena, sometimes he looks really asleep and like really not interested. <laughs> but out here, he is really into it. He's really awake and he loves to do that stuff. And, you know, Horses, well, youngsters who are less confident like him, uh, especially those unconfident extroverted types, uh, to kind of walk like this right away, it will totally shoot them off the cliff. They will lose confidence and you have to go way slower and more gradually to, to, to go on a walk like this. Maybe go with a friend, you know, to give them confidence. Uh, but these unconfident expert horses, they will be way more happy in the arena, for example, than they're really good working in the arena because this is where they feel safe. And depending on personality of your youngster, <laughs> you have to adapt and not feel bad. If, for example, if you have a guy like him or a girl like him, he's a bit asleep in the arena and hard to interest and just go on to a ride to get his interest again and get them awake and balance it a little bit. Huh, guy? And if your youngsters are more unconfident than him, more reactive, don't get frustrated because he's a bit spooky and walks a bit unconfident, um, go slower. <laughs> go more gradual. Take another horse to give confidence. Huh? Do we go on the other side again, Jedi? Yeah. Huh? Ask him to wait. No, stay here. Wait. It's you can't wait. I go to the side. Yes, good boy. <laughs> good guy, huh? 
Okay, let's find our next adventure. That's your day. We're going through the bushes again to practice some lifting the feet. <laughs> uh, poopy break. Good guy. Out today. Turn. Yes. Good boy. That one is too high. We cannot jump yet. <laughs> Not your day. Yep. Yep, that was a tree. Smart decision. Good. You can, for example, stand around the tree here. Yep. Let him feel the rope and follow the rope. See if you can figure it out. Yes, good boy. <laughs> Little puzzle for him, how to follow the feel of the rope. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or I can also do that the other way. Yep. Send him around. Let the rope stop him. Just see if he can follow the feel. Yes. Yep. Help a bit. Very good boy. Huh? Yes. So especially if you have a horse that can that can sometimes pull hard on the lead drop <laughs> to do this little exercise, to send the horse around the tree and let the horse figure it out how to release the feel. Good boy. This can really teach the horse a lot about how to follow the feel better and pull less. Huh? Because the tree will always be more stable than you. Come, let's walk around a few trees, push the nose, good, here I'm applying um, the leading exercise I did for quite a while with him to walk in a figure of eight around two blocks, to push his nose, now I'm using the trees, <laughs> push the nose, yes, good boy. Encourage him to follow. Good. Push the nose. Good. Follow. Go around here. Push the nose. Yes, good boy. And by the way, look where you put your feet. <laughs> yes, good boy. And follow. Yeah, <laughs> good guy, huh? Good guy, yes, huh? Good boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and have a little break, see what he wants to do and play, <laughs> huh? Good guy. Okay, now. I'm going to let him explore a bit and take me. Yep. And I ask him to just walk. And I'm going to walk where he wants to go and explore. Let's see. Of course, I'm going to stay within safe parameters. But you know, if I have the opportunity, I can do that. It's just okay, horsey. You're free to explore. I'm just gonna follow. <laughs> he wants to kill the tree. Okay. Good boy. Huh? So now here, I allow him to be horse. What would a horse do in here in this forest? He wouldn't run around trees. <laughs> he would kind of roam and explore and forage. <laughs> Or play with sticks. <laughs> huh? Good guy. 
<laughs> is taking a young horses on the walk is as I just already said a few times it's not about going a certain round going a certain amount of kilometers getting something done in a certain set amount of time it's about sharing experiences it's about passing a good time together huh yeah i can use the walk to apply all the skills the horses learned in the arena of course and apply them in a creative way like i did yeah but uh, it also gives opportunity you know to follow the horse for a little bit of course i'm going to make sure <laughs> that it doesn't learn to drag me around so when i do this to follow the horse i always make sure that there's no tension on the lead drop. That he never has the feeling he pulls a rope out of my hand. Because this is what I do not want him to learn. I want him to always feel he clearly has permission. Huh? And as he's a very introverted horse, <laughs> well, there's not much, action, not much action right now. Good boy. Huh? Here we go. Cool. Yes, there he gets curious. Good. So what I will not allow now is that he starts to trot. Good boy. Now ah, he wants to go with the ditch again. <laughs> okay. No, but don't do that now. That Jedi, come. Good. Okay. Huh? So I will allow this exploring behavior and let the horse take me for a little bit. And of course, keep the horse in a safe uh, frame. Uh, like I said, I will not allow the horse to trot and to run off. <laughs> I will. Like here he took me in a little bit of a, in a stingy bush. <laughs> this is where I'm going to stop him. I also stopped him when he wanted to jump the ditch. <laughs> so I will keep the horse out of trouble. I will keep us out of trouble. Huh? Yep. You have to look where you go, Jedi. Okay, we allow this for a little while. And then we continue our way. Right, Jedi. Here we go. Take your youngster out or your horse out on walks is so valuable. It's gonna build your relationship so much because you're developing trust in unknown environment, you're building communication, navigating over ditches or jumping tree trunks or you know just exploring things your horse might be scared about. And it's going to really benefit you largely because your horse is going to develop trust into your leadership that you will keep your horse safe when he's a little bit scared. Um, but this is only going to be the case <laughs> if you are, are not going worried or the, if you are not scared and tensed uh, because this tension is of course going to, uh, your horse is going to feel this tension. So 
If you are a little bit worried about what could happen, what if my horse gets scared, what if my horse spooks, what if my horse jumps in my direction, um, you want to at first stay well within your comfort zone and just do little walks that you make good experience for yourself, that you can have successful outings and little by little make bigger walks. <laughs> little by little take bigger walks. Uh, take on more challenging tasks like jumping at ditches or going off-road or tackling more challenging areas with, for example, sheep or uh, more traffic or more hikers coming in your direction. Uh, just build, build on it slowly so that both you and your horse can get more confident and don't throw yourselves uh, over the cliff into the panic zone. And another aspect is if you have a confident guy like him, <laughs> Going on walks is great. It's going to be uh, really motivating for your horse and beneficial for your relationship, but only if you insist on the same kind of boundaries as you insist on in the arena. Like with him, you saw a few times that I had to keep him out of my space, that he wouldn't uh, push on me with his shoulder or run too fast or not respond. So. On the walk with a horse like him, you still have to really pay attention. Uh, your horse doesn't push on you and doesn't pull on the halter. Always respect and apply the same rules and boundaries and limitations as you do in the arena and daily life. Otherwise, you're very easily going to teach a horse to pull you around. Like here, he went to pull and you saw I did not follow him. I did not let the rope slide out of my hands, but I told him, hey, I want you to not pull on me, <laughs> otherwise I'm going to teach him to drag me around. Trail walks are so great for young horses, any horse really, the more you go out there, the more brave your horse will get and the more confident you also will get uh, handling your horse out in the open. Come on Jedi, let's go! <laughs> Jedi! <laughs> Ja, so ein bisschen wild, ha? Huh? Komm. So we have come to the end of our walk. I've, I hope you found that inspirational and gave you some ideas on how we can be more creative on your walks with your youngs out in the forest. Um, I often get questions about what should I do with my yearling or what should I do with my two-year-old. And in my opinion, um, the more you go out on walks, the better it is. You can do all those basic groundwork things out on a walk. It just keeps things so much more interesting and it sets up the youngster for success later in life and especially later if you want to take your youngster out on trail rides. So go out on walks as much as you can.